Good day guys, welcome to match number two with Rochford on the USA team and Constantini on the Germany team. So these guys uh, just played a really epic match before as Constantini was the winner of the first match, the best out of two. And um, history says in this game, um, sorry, between these two opponents, uh, Rochford should be able to win this game as pretty much every time they've played... Um, if someone wins the one game, the other person wins the next um, in their encounters in the Anzac Man number two. That was the case, which Rutford was always winning the last two matches in the best out of three series. But what the? MG out in the open here, not being marked too well, as Constantine is sending the, a full weight of the, uh, not full weight, three guys to the front of the Western flag. Not catching guys out in the open, actually. They managed to escape behind cover and behind the houses. Center point being capped by Constantini. Also the western point, but the eastern point is being capped by Rutchford now. But the MG in a very precarious position. Not No sandbags up yet. Just hiding down in that little um, bush there. Not being marked well. As uh, Rutchford in the house there really causing a bit of issues for the advance of Rutchford's troops in the center. But he's managing to throw a few nice grenades here. And he's capping this flag with the skin of his teeth. There's a guy's hiding behind there as well. Whoa, nice grenade there by Constantine. Explodes exactly on impact and takes out the rifleman capping the flag there. As centre point neutralised now, it's Constantini's as the Germans. As Rutchard here is trying to split up his guys a bit around, trying to hold this flag a bit longer possibly, but he's going to try pressure, I think, one of these flags here. Constantine's really pressuring his grenades at this stage. MG in a nice position there, a standard position in farm and everyone uses. As he's still firing away, but uh, M1 Garand takes out one of the grenades there. Another one here though, throws it on the grenade. Bit too late there though, as reinforcements here of the shotgun. Kind, so spamming with a shotgun is here. MG is in a good position though to to really, I guess, suppose stop them from doing much of an impact. But no, nope, doesn't get them before they reach cover. BR as well as his position could possibly DC to take out that MG. In fact, but MG still raining fire on here, and this is being a good diversion. In fact, as well, this guy SMG guy has actually been quite pesky. M1 Garand to the face, maybe not yet. A shotgunner is being a bit silly. Two shotgunners just ran and lost their lives to SMG, which could have been used. Um, better as well. Flank here by the SMG, so it really wipes out Rutchford's troops there as a reinforcement of the regular squad kind coming here from Rutchford to try reinforce this area here as pretty much it's lost everything in this area here now. Rutchford is one guy flanked um, all these guys here, the MG, a few riflemen as well, and the shotgunners unfortunately just ran to their deaths, not being microed, um, I said, not really ideally path into the right way. Should have probably came out this way instead of that way where it could have been shot with the SMG. But Constantine really pressuring for the three cap, which it should do. This is definitely the ideal situation as he's only got two troops here, two riflemen for the M1 Grand kind holding this position here. And now Constantine's assault force can just run straight down here. And really a full domination in the force, so he's gonna quite easily hold this for till Kingdom come. And this area here is should be pressured now by Rutchford, because this is pretty much easy to hold, but the MG is gonna pester him while doing so as he's running a full force here. Nice movement here. He's actually ran at all, some down here and some down the side here, being able to flank the guys in this area here. So constantly has an opportunity to somehow put an MG over here and flank these guys there if he wants to. But center point is what one point he needs to neutralize, and he has so successfully, which is the goal he should have went for, and he has got it to stop this recap. It's two, 3 to 0, so the flags are going to tick up to Constantini at a ridiculous rate, as here comes a squad of the... Is that the 50 cal? No, that's the 30... That's the regular squad kind. So regular squad coming down, <coughs> trying to reinforce, but all these guys behind cover, I believe, are coming going to run into an ambush quite possibly, as the shotgunners are coming in to support as well. But they're really being um, taken out multiple angles. There's one guy there, one guy there. He's infesting like crazy, Mr. Constantini. Today he's playing quite well. And some SMG guys around buildings here as well. These shotgunners again run into ambush here and get taken out by two guys. He's really putting guys into positions where uh, Russia doesn't expect them. So he lost pretty much half a squad there, including sh a shotgunner squad as well. As a grenade being thrown there, it's a nice micro ring here, but no more grenades for this M1 grenade. It only comes with one. As can it take it out one shot if it pops out? Let's have a look. This guy's still being pinned down here. He's going to come up bravely with the M1 Garand facing his front. Nope. Oh, uh, it's going to take him too long. Maybe I should just look somewhere else, but I just want to see this happen. Oh, M1 Grand Stick is going to take taken out, so he's been taken out. As this flag here on the western flag has been taken out by Constantini and re <coughs> he's reinforcing, moving guys up on the side too. So real um, big swipe um, movement you see by Constantini, running, the running guys all over the place, making Rutford panic and making him really s slow in his advance, having to look at every nook and tranny to find Constantini's troops but he's managed to nevertheless get this point back 
with the support of a conscript squad. Okay, interesting there. As a three cap is on twenty to zero here. Constantini is in the lead. Rutford trailing at this stage. MG of the thirty cal two hundred bullets kind is here and should be able to hold this flank quite well. As center point now is being assaulted by Rutford on this flank here, which is a decent move as there's not much troops here. But whoa, MP forty there taking out some guys from behind over here. Here, really in intense. Um, uh, infestation here as a paratrooper kind, I believe. Is that parat yep, that's a paratrooper kind. And Rutra does have a squad leader there, which could do damage in the future. Nice play to him as half track. Nice. So Rutra knows he knew that Constantini bought a paratrooper, which means he can't afford a 2 to 2 or a P3. So he went half track quickly, and then this half track can, can counter the paratroopers um, if it, if it uh, does the attack really fast and lightning fast before. Um, because he can't afford that 2 2 after a counter, and he knows what to expect it as a paratrooper squad. They're kind of caught out in the open there, but MG in the field. Ooh! Oh no, it's being DC'd and only takes out two. Oh no, that could have been much more devastating, in fact. Maybe that was definitely in DC as the AR does not aim that way. Um, so it could have possibly been not been in DC and could have possibly done more better um, shots as down here. Well, it is quite hard to aim when your half track's moving, especially versus moving troops too. It makes it even harder, as the AI is a bit of an aim bot. In fact, it doesn't shoot at stationary targets super well, but it shoots at moving targets better than you can most of the time, unless you are a fantastic aimer, which I am not. As we see constantly with a two-two-two, he knows the half track was out, so it means uh, Rockford doesn't have much uh, in place to counter that 2-2-2 at this stage. Uh, Marine squad I believe out, so that's a direct counter uh, that 2 2 for that as uh, Steward by, fantastic. So Steward's out, which means it can counter that 2-2-2 uh, two 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 quite easy. Nice buy there. Needs to come down this flag now, reinforce the point from these paratroopers as well. So Stuart can quite easily reinforce the paratroopers and take it to 2 2 at the same time, but needs to be wary. His flank's quite exposed because there's all guys around here, SMG varieties I know too, but this greenhouse has been quite pesky for Mr. Rochford here. But I'm expecting a grenade coming by a guy right here. I remember I saw him before. Hopefully this Rochford moves quickly. Yep, he does move quickly. Oh! And these are Brandenburgers. Ooh, watch out there, Mr. Rutford. Brandenburgers with the Faust are coming. Oh, misses one shot there. Gotta work, watch out there. Maybe move a bit more back, Rutford. Move back. There's definitely more Brandenburgers where that came from. As Stuart here is ooh, gonna do quite a bit of damage to Patrick. He's gotta watch out. There's Brandenburgers there still, too, as well. Definitely run back, Mr. Rutford, or run some conscripts down here so you don't get flanked. But doing decent damage at this stage, Rutford. Oh, he's taking out quite a few of his own troops. There's a Brandenburg with a Faust there <coughs> as well, being blocked by the stone wall. <coughs> wow, grenade explodes. <coughs> Takes out one of the guys. Excuse me. <coughs> as 30mm has done the damage and taken out the Panzer Faust guy there. So Rutford has not taken his flag back. One guy sneakily capping it over there. Ooh, it's a Brandenburg. Doesn't throw a grenade in time. So he's recapping that flag. There's an MG over there too. No counter as of yet, because the squad leader would have seen it by now up there. <coughs> but Rutford being quite aggressive here. As he is there another Brandenburg out? Lucky there wasn't, as he's coming down the center full force here without any support. He's going to hit that pipe. No, the pipe gets demolished first. But infantry needs to be coming up as well. Takes out the MG as well. Wow, this tank usage is quite aggressive. Very risky, but it's doing a great job. Taking out three M two MGs and the squad leader. Well, P3 is out now. This is a 50-50 play. He's going to go for it. Jeez, this is going to be a Stuart... Um, oh wow, that bounced off the Stuart? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, what? This Stuart's in for a chance. Takes it to the turret. Ooh, oh, turret, that's a skillful shot there, Constantini. He was turreted and he killed that Stuart, but that Stuart was in the off, in the, in the, gra in a, sorry, in a good moment to take out that P3 as well, as the croc should be out. Now the, the croc is out, so <coughs> Rutherford should definitely think about going to croc, but he's struggling to cap this because of the guys all behind him. This is fantastic play. I like um, doing that strategy, having guys behind the actual point. So it's fair enough having guys behind cover, shooting down and aiming, ambushing. But it's also good to have guys behind the areas where you're going to go, if she's going to go, which it's much better as the guys get shot from behind without even getting shot at. As the croc is out, standard by here, nice by there. Rightford is doing well to pressure both points, center and left. He's got the left hand side very well. He just needs more infantry down the center to help to support the assault squad kind is coming, which is what he needs. Now this is turreted and will be able to be taken out. The croc has got a few shots to go. <coughs> I would say the next shot will take it out and there it goes. 
Ruxford has a knack for finding the weaknesses in all tanks and Atex, uh, the squad leader has been taken out as well so the line of sight has been neutralized there by Constantine. Good play there as the croc is being a bit aggressive here, maybe a bit too aggressive here. Wait for the assault squads to come by. So major comeback here, almost a 3 cap coming up as the MG here, ooh, that, ooh that's a 2 to 2 repaired as well, I just saw it come up. Um, can it come back? Is a guy in this building being quite pesky? Can this croc root it out maybe? Or what is it going to do? He's going to try to take out that MG. Nope. <coughs> oh no, that 2 2 is alive and he's not getting killed. Oh, there he goes, so it's dead now. But has taken out a lot of the assault squad. Maybe needs to flame that building as well because the guy's in there as well. That sniper has taken out the crew. There's a sniper over there. Needs to somehow take that out too. But that guy's being so pesky right now. <coughs> it's very annoying that he's not being able to shoot that guy. Uh, in fact, but this flag is being. Wow! Pressured by Constantine. This flag as well. This is really, Constantine is really doing a good job pressuring the flags. He knows Rutford is using all his micro on this croc and he couldn't really spend any other time microing this area here where Constantine just totally ignored this area and attacked here and here. Fantastic play by Constantine. <coughs> He's looking very strong today as <coughs> here comes a buy of the, what is this called? This is the Marine Squad and the 30 Cal Squad, so one pointer and the Marine Squad out. So he's spent all his special points infantry. Looks like he's bought that initially. So maybe he still has three points for another croc if that, what is that, if that is what he's saving for. <coughs> As the center point now is being capped by Rochford. And the western point is neutralized by Teeny with the MG34 Brandenburger Clan should be able to hold, excuse me, from any infantry bars. And <coughs> as the western flag here is being assaulted now by Rutcher's Marines plus the 30 cal. Lots of MDs in tow being able to swap. The croc now needs to somehow move backwards slowly and start to help other flags at this stage. But what the? How did this squad get all the way back here? It's getting mowed down by that MG over there, but he's going to try to flank these troops here. Maybe he needs to move some of these guys over as this MG is doing pesky damage, but the croc does take it out. The sniper over there still doing damage. The croc needs to take out the sniper as well. And the flank is doing quite well. But I'm going to take out guys behind here. This is a pretty awesome play here, but that sniper is doing quite a bit of damage over here to the Marine squad. But it's actually taking out all the guys in behind cover. Where is that sniper now? That sniper is somewhere around here. But here comes a pack 40 for that croc. The croc is going to slowly back away. So, ooh, what a shot. Nearly got it there by shooting there. But I think this croc is safe now. And he knows the pack 40 is out there and he's going to try to ignore it. So the pack 40 is going to be quite slow to move down the center. So it looks like Rutchford has got the upper hand now from Constantini, 58 to 0, but Constantini has a steady hand at the pack forward, it's quite a safe buy if you can get it on the field, uh, but at this stage now, because he's done that, he's really lost the momentum in terms of um, having another tank to support his infantry, as now Rushford can support his infantry, the pack 40 can't possibly shoot through this wall at this stage, and Rushford knows that, he's moving his forces down here, and going to try to capture this flag at this stage, going to flame all these guys behind buildings. Ooh, these are Brandenburgers. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, lucky there. Constantine's <laughs> nearly turned to throw that uh, Panzerfaust up his ass. It misses. Uh, so you can now cap this flag now, neutralize, and the three cap is ensuing. These guys possibly need to move up into position and cover over here to ambush guys coming down to the center. As center looks quite, uh, quite devoid of any infantry and possible salty, but ooh, these guys are actually still in the same position, actually doing quite a bit of damage. Where is that sniper? That sniper is still there. Has taken out the MG as well. Oh, another guy. He's taking out three guys in a matter of two seconds. Wow, that is definitely a veteran sniper for sure. Um, unfortunate, this guy hasn't been spotted by Rochford as of yet, but if that sniper wasn't there, that MG of the Marines could have easily torn apart the entire squad there, but nevertheless, has he got any MGs over here? Sniper taking out another Marine there, but he's got a machine gun over here, which will be able to hold the flag for a bit longer. Uh, M19 coming out by suspicion. The croc's been taken out by something. Ooh. Must have been a Brandenburger of Constantini's. Where is a Brandenburger? Is there a Brandenburger? Assault. Brandenburger. There, possibly this guy did it from there. As 50 cal taken off that... Uh, Nice play there, taking us off the croc most likely. As this point he's neutralized with the M19 on the field. But where is that sniper? But three cap off the bat here, so 12.58. Ooh, this is going to be nasty at this stage. Big turnaround here. Rutchford is going to save the day with this M19 push, taking out everything here. And all points look quite secure. 50 cal will be able to secure this point. These guys are running into the ambush of the 50 cal as well, so not looking too great at this stage. But he's a rifleman, so he's only got one star on it, So, and there's actually nothing else. So if this guy dies, this whole field is going to be destroyed, and a flank here is going to be possible to that 50 cal as well. These guys are going to start shooting at this 50 cal guy. But he's not shooting at the right unit, and one of these assault squad leaders is going to come down. 
Ooh, no, it does miss and grenades very, very far away from where he was meant to. So he holds with the skin of his teeth, but Flak 38 takes up the 50 cal now. Only the tank crew now <laughs> holding this flag. So three caps lasting for long enough. Rotra nearly catching up to Constantini <coughs> at the moment, but wow. This is quite an interesting push here. Takes the hill. <coughs> but Constantini is looking strong with the 38. And also the pack 40 somewhere around here, <coughs> which can quite easily... Uh-oh, what's this? Rifleman? <coughs> this is just a rifleman though, right, isn't it? It is just a rifleman. What is he doing, Constantini? Oh no, he thought it was a Brandenburger or something, but that can't do anything. <laughs> He's just going to die. <laughs> Invincible guy has spawned and taken it out. <coughs> so that wasn't a good change. Line of sight for nothing. 52 to 58, Constantini still holds onto... Sorry, Rutra still holds onto three flags, and... Um, he's still holding on, even though, with the Marine Squad holding the higher cap there. One AT grenade will be good. Oh, nice there. That's what I just predicted. He did well there. Right unit to buy a Brandenburger. Oh, shit. Can he notice this? It does. Nice play by Con Rutford there. Notices the Brandenburger. But nice play by Constantini by sticking the Brandenburger. So it's uh, 64 to 58. Three cap means death, and it is 65, 66 to 58. Zero, basically, from 58. Zero to 58 now. He's turned around to 68 to 58, but here comes the... Both is now going to make an impact down the center. Ooh, P3 counter as well though, but ooh, this M19 could come rolling down here. Side shot on the P3, come on. This is the one. Easily take take out the M19, uh, sorry, easily take out. This is basically a crossfire of 40 millimeters. You can just come down here, take it out from the side, and if this guy turns to take out your M19, the both is can take that out the side. So Constantine is really um, not looking good. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so there it goes there. Wonderful crossfire. That was like pretty much, um, he dreamt that. He he decided to dream the most ideal dream. And there he goes. He had, Rutra just had a wet dream there. That was just pretty much wet dream material as P3. Stuart is on the field. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, that's why. Because he's, he's prepared that. I was just got confused there. He's the US. He's the Germans. And I've never actually used the Stuart versus the Bofors because I never actually had the opportunity. But let's see how it works. I'm pretty sure the Bofors can take it out in one shot. Let's have a look. Hold down. And uh, Stuart supporting the attack on the left leg, but there's track damage somehow by something. Oh, M19 there. M19 going to take out the Stuart from the side. Oh no, it's main gun by the flag. Pack 40's got a shot too. There it goes, and it's tracked as well. So um, takes out the cover at least. So it does something nevertheless. As the Bofors is still being quite inactive. Can take out the Stuart. Can take out every anything on this field. Come on. There it goes, quite easily penetrates that Stuart. So there you go, Mythbusters. That's how. That's uh, what happens if a Stuart comes up come against the Bofors, as main gun gets damaged, I think, by that Bofors there. But Bofors can actually damage the guns of these two units, and that will um, cripple Constantini's, I suppose, units in the center, as center is still um, okay to be capped by Mr. Rutford, as this house can be used as cover, as it is being used right now, and the three cap is being forced once again, and this flag here look, looking very, very strong. Anything that comes down will be flanked. Anything that comes in here will be shot before they get a shot off. And this point here looking very weak. But I think this tank is repaired. In fact, if you can go inside there, Con Rutford, you can seal the deal for victory. But Constantini not look, looking very good here. There's no much, not, many, not much points that he can start to attack at this stage. As well, what's that? The MG kind of the MG just ducking there, ambushing a few guys as the center point is now being kept to Rochford. He needs this flag right now constantly. He needs a flag of some sort, even this one right now. Run down here, get an MG behind here, take out that guy there and capture the croc. Then that would be GG for Rochford. And center now is held still by Rochford, constantly a bit slow. Finally coming down here. Oh no, this is going to might mean death here. Yeah. I don't think Rochford knows about this croc being repaired. If this can happen, come on. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting if this happens. Can he get this croc? Can he get this croc? Oh, you seen it! I, oh no! Both is, oh man, both is in the nice position to support it though. Can it actually take a shot off? No, a flaming engine there, so he didn't get his croc back, but at least the croc didn't actually escape. So nice, it's basically an ideal situation to have that little gap there um, by Rutford there. In a very ideal position. Very fortunate, in fact. So look how little this a little margin for error that is. That's basically, um, if that wasn't there, it could have been taken out, but it's 95 to 58, 96. Looks like Rutford has it. The buffer is going to cover the center from any capping. This point here looks pretty damn secure. So I'd say I'll call it a GG at this stage. And um, pretty much um, very fast play. And these guys are very evenly matched. And you can see this is basically the last, I suppose, last six times they met. 
Um, it's been basically like this. Um, this Burpers does take it everything, so one game apiece, a draw for both players. Well done and good luck, um, guys, for your future matches.